Okay, here is a box of some moth specimens from the Florida Keys. And uh, obviously there's some really cool beauties here. But what I wanted to show you guys is these two down here. These are um, Xylophanes libia, libia. And this is actually a very recently uh, understood to have existed in South Florida. And over the last five, six years, they've been recorded. And it's cool because I've actually been able to come across two of them. Um, I'll go over where I found them real quick. This one is actually the first one I, I was actually given. My friend, Eric Purdick lived in Wilton Manors at the time. And he said, Dave, I have a moth for you. I found it in my garage. So I said, okay, sure. It's, it was dead and de you know desiccated already. So he brings me this specimen in a, in a little cup. And you know, it was already been eaten by ants. And, you know, it's not the mo you know, most fresh specimen. It's got scales missing from its head and its abdomen. But I was immediately impressed because it is... It was a new species for me. That is not Xylophanes tersa. That is a new species. So I actually went up, looked it up, and found that it was Xylophanes libya. And they're common in Central America. This was found in, in June in 2019. Um, they can be fairly common in Central America, and I believe in the Caribbean as well. And so that was news to me that in downtown, you know, urban Wilton Manors in Broward County, Florida, that we would be able to find a cool bug like that. Uh, that, that same year, a couple months later, uh, I found this one in No Name Key on my, on my moth, re, moth research project. And that's a nice fresh specimen. And that was pretty cool. I think, I think that's a female and this is a male. Uh, but this is Xylophanes libya found on No Name Key, and it was uh, a beautiful specimen. It came to the lights, and it was found in the month of, I think it was April the very next year, if I remember correctly. No, 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 that's not true. It was found in April. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was April two thousand nineteen. And so, uh, was it found at a light? They actually feed on wild coffee. Uh, larval host is wild coffee, which is makes a lot of sense because there's no shortage of that in Florida Keys and in South Florida. So uh, I'm gonna be on the lookout for caterpillars of this amazing bug. And we'll, we'll probably in August, I'm gonna start hunting on, uh, hunting on coffee plants and see if we can find some caterpillars of this beautiful moth newly established in the United States. And I believe it is breeding because, um, you know, there were, it was called, uh, you know, like a transient stray, like, but I believe that they are indeed breeding here. It's host plants all over the place. So, uh, wild coffees in pretty much every habitat, you know, in South Florida, you know, multiple habitats and hardwood hammocks and, and, uh, coastal hardwood hammocks and so on. So I think that the, um, I think this species is going to show up more and more. I think its range is going to expand. If it hasn't expanded already, we just haven't found them yet. You know, we'll see how that goes. But uh, guys, uh, pretty cool thing where we get to see these bugs. We also have uh, two other Xylophanes in Florida that are breeding. We have Xylophanes tersa, which is a common one. Um, they feed on a number of things and most commonly find their caterpillars on pentas. Uh, and of, of course, Xylophanes Pluto, the green and yellow one, is a really beautiful one. Uh, they feed on Himalaya, the firebush. And so, uh, guys, give me a thumbs up. Uh, these are some pretty cool sphinx moths. We've got a variety of sphinx moths uh, from the Florida Keys. We've got, this, these here are uh, um, Phryxus Caicus, really rare one. This, these are Arenus Alopi. Here we have uh, Elo Sphinx, Arenus Elo. Got Aranus Obscura. We got the Groat Sphinx and Half Blind Sphinx. And here we've got Titan, uh, Olympias Titan, and some other cool moths here as well. So these are beautiful moths, all from the Florida Keys. Guys, we are having a great time catching a lot of moths. We're finding some cool stuff. And we hope you enjoy this short video on these rare butter moths that 
you know, Florida is this, this little peninsula that sticks out in the middle of the water and kind of like is right in the middle of Central America and the Caribbean islands. And all those tropical species kind of will find their way to the Floridian Peninsula every now and then. And we'll get them either temporarily established and we can find them or sometimes they permanently establish. And, you know, that happens from time to time as well. But we get to see these cool things and uh, I'm going to share them all with you as I come across them. Please comment on any cool, unusual things that you may have come across in the Florida Keys or in South Florida. I'd love to hear about it, uh, but give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more moth activity for you, and uh, we will get more videos out shortly. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, guys, till next time, let's enjoy South Florida and enjoy our tropical Lepidoptera beauties. Take care now.